So, as we've been talking about, humans, not the only ones, getting in on the Halloween fun this year. Pet parents have already been picking out costumes for their fur babies. But if you just can't decide, like me, we are going to get some help. Joining us live with some trending pet costumes this year, lifestyle expert Jen Munoz. Jen, you're here to save me and Sam. We need help for Halloween. Help us out. Yeah. And those bee costumes you were showing earlier are way cuter than those murder hornets. So anyway. cute. Yes. yes. Yes, bumblebee they pups. They don't murder mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Yeah, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So the first one is like that classic, where's Waldo? If you have a dog that is elusive and always hiding in places, it could be a really fun costume to be able to pick out something that suits their personality. You've got the little red and white striped shirt, the little glasses, and you can, you know, make it a game in your house to have them go out and try to find where's Waldo, right? There you um, go. There's another <laughs> classic one, werewolf, which could be a good one for one of your dogs. I know if I, I hear Rocky likes to wear masks and things as well. Oh, um, sure. So the werewolf costume is a really fun one to be able to put in the dog because it's got the arms already. So then, you know, when your dog's walking around, it just they're hilarious to be able to see those oh, ones. They look like a little it. werewolf running around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we've got some fairy tale costumes for those who are into Disney and those sort of things. Um, a boo, like who doesn't love to see a dog dressed up as a monkey? Um, one of the cutest things you've ever seen. And then if you have a princess for a dog, you can, of course, cannot go wrong with dressing up as Belle. Um, and, you know, this is one that a dog or a cat can wear as well. And you've got the little wig. Oh, my God. Um, I like that one. Right? Um, I think these next ones are my favorite. The carrying costumes. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but like there's, you know, if you can't get grandma to come visit you, you can certainly have grandma, you know, come over to your house and, oh you know, God. dog and cat version. Cat. So, I was going like, to say the cat little... grandma already has the disapproving look. Oh my God. Right? She's ready. She's ready. I'm going to hit you with that um, first. And then... yeah. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Um, oh and then there's also the ones where like there's a dog carrying like beer, like they're going to the party. So you might want to look into that one for Sam. Aww. You know, he could be totally ready to head out. I was going to say, I don't um, know what's going on with our graphics this morning. <laughs> they're so small. I'm going to give our booth time to maybe small. zoom in so we can see this. But that's such a cute right. idea. Oh, my God. You got to get out your readers. It's an eye Apparently. test and this about is, Halloween. Right, this is part <laughs> eye test, part segment. Okay. That's a fly. We can, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we can put some pictures online too. If yeah, people oh need to see we're going to have to. Oh, man. <laughs> um, the next ones there are Space Cadets. You've got that rocket ship. <laughs> um, again, like he's got his little snazzy pants and, you know, his head sticking out. He probably has a look on his face like my dog would have. Like, why are you doing this to me? But, right. you know, some dogs enjoy it more than others. Oh um, and then there's also a robot dog. And Target has a whole, like, um, section of hide and eek <laughs> boutique costumes. So these are from that. So he's got his little arms. He's ready to blast off as well. Okay. Um, and then we've got some superhero costumes. So of course, you know, I feel like these days, UPS guys and the gals are our superheroes. They're delivering everything all day long. <laughs> so um, a tribute to our everyday superheroes. And then of course we have Pavengers, um, you know, for Captain America, that sort of thing. Um, if you're into superheroes, those are always a great costume too. Aww. And then I think, you know, you guys were talking about favorite costumes for dogs. Like for my dog, he has like one of them anyway, has this like extra like lion's mane sort of naturally. Yeah. Oh, wow. um, so that could be a really good one for Sam as well. Cause it's super easy and you just like put the little um, mane over their head there you and go. Then they look like a lion, mm -hmm. which is real fun. Um, and then, you know, for, for any pups in the family, like whether your dogs um, are big or small or cats, um, you cannot go wrong again with like dressing your dog up as food. So there's hot dogs, there's lobsters, there's just all kinds of, again, like super fun. You know, you can do that with the whole family, um, kind of get like that theme going. Um, you know, if you're going to a lobster Aww. boil, whatever it may be. <laughs> <laughs> I like oh, the little hat cute, there. Cute. Yes, that oh is cute. My gosh. I'm glad okay. some of the pictures were actually full size. I so we know. Could see some we of those. could see yeah. about half of those. So we, uh, yeah, if anyone has any questions, reach out to us on Facebook. We'll connect you with some cute costume ideas. And of course, we'll have all those links on coin.com. Jen, thanks so much for joining us. Great ideas as always. Thank you. Have a nice day, ladies. Sure. Yeah, happy too. Halloween. All right, coming up, it is 8.13, and still to come on AM Extra, we have the latest from the entertainment world. There